Hello, I am PJ and this is Old Fast. All right, so today we are talking about the parable of the prodigal son. I think we all know this parable. The main point I want to bring out of it is the fact that God loves you and God wants to forgive you. The thing is, we get numb to that. We hear it all the time. God loves you, God loves you, God loves you, God wants to forgive you. And eventually we're convinced of it, right? We're convinced of it that God is good, that God loves us, that God wants to forgive us. The only problem is we think we're the exception to that. We say, you know what? I know God's good. I just can't be forgiven. I know God loves. He just doesn't love me. I know that God accepts everybody. It's just that, you know, with my past, my background, I just, my history, it's just, I can't. He can't do it. And the point of this parable is that that's absolutely false. It's absolutely not true. The people that Jesus is telling this parable to are tax collectors and sinners, the most despised people in that society. He comes to them. He comes to the outcasts. He comes to the great sinners. Those are the people he wants to bring. He wants everybody. Think about this. God needs nothing. That means God doesn't need you. God doesn't need me. We're not needed. On the flip side, we're wanted. If we exist and God doesn't need us, that means we're wanted. And because we're wanted, God wants to forgive you. God wants to love you. God wants you. And he came down from heaven to prove it. He proved it on that cross that he wants to forgive you. The big question of this, that this parable raises is, will you let God love you? Will you let God forgive you? He came down and he wants to forgive you so much. Will you let him? Will you open up your heart? And that involves confession. And yes, for mortal sin, yes, of course, that involves going to confession. And even for evangel sin, it involves opening up your heart and saying, God, this is it. And not being afraid of what God might say, but instead saying, God, this is my heart. This is my history. This is my past. This is my hurt. This is my sin. I'm sorry for my sin. And I give you my hurt. And I give you my past. Because I want to be the person you created me to be. I want to be that, that incredible person, that incredible saint you call me to be. So take my heart, Jesus. Take my heart and make it what you want it to be. I'm sorry for my sins, but here I am. Here is my heart. Today, let God love you and let God forgive you.